So now we are going to apply logistic regression towards some data set. So how to apply the logistic regression towards by using python. So first step we need to import the basic libraries. So I am just importing pandas. So now we are going to read the data set which is nothing but uh, provided by UCI learning. So now we need to first understand the data set. So before we are discussing with about the data set, first we will apply the data set uh, in some variable name. So let's we create data pandas dot read underscore csv. I am just reading the data set. So now where my this file is there in the same location I save to my data. So that's nothing but hot.csv. I am just reading the CSV file. Yeah. So now it's getting running. So let's wait for two seconds. So till it's running. So this pandas we are reading the CSV file which is in the same location. So there is no need of giving the path. Great. So now we will give the data variable name. So this is our data set where we are having lot of columns. So let's we discuss about the data set. So now we are going to explore the data set. This is nothing but hot disease data set where we have a 303 rows and 13 attributes with the target column. So 303 rows and 13 attribute with our target columns. So now this 14 attribute here it's showing because with the index. So now we need to build a classifier to predict if a pa patient has a heart disease or not. So let's take a small look about this uh, data. So let's we read only the head data for our better understand. So for age, this is nothing but age in uh, years and this uh, sex which is used to predict 1 as a male and 0 as a female. CP that is nothing but a chest pain type. Value 1 is a typical angina and value 2 is nothing but a atypical angina. Value 3 which is nothing but non-angical pain. Value 4 that is nothing but asymptomatic pain. So we have a value 4 pains. So trust BPS. So this is an another column which is used to measure our blood pressure. So this color is which is used for serum cholesterol and FBS that is nothing but fasting blood sugar uh, where we are having greater than 120 then it's 1 as for true 0 for false. So if our blood sugar is greater than 120 uh, if it's true we get 1 if it's false we get 0. So then this rest ECG that is nothing but resting electrocardiographic uh, result. Where we are getting 0 that means normal and value 1 having STT wave abnormality. So then the next thing is value 2 which we are just showing the probable or defined left ventricular type. Then halach which is used to make maximum heart rate achieved. Then exact that is nothing but exercise included angina. 1 is yes and 0 is no. And old peak that is nothing but ST depression included by exercise relative to rest. Then slope. The slope that is nothing but a peak exercise ST segment. So value 1 is for upsloping and value 2 for flat value and 3 is for downsloping. Then CA that is nothing but number of major vessels. And then target is 1, we are having a heart disease and if target is 0 then there is no heart disease. So this is what our data set is. So now we need to apply our linear regression, our logistic regression towards this data set. So let's we, now I want to know the total sh shape, uh, yeah so we have a 303. 14 attribute 1 is our 0th index. So now I am going to make our x value and y value. Uh, so now one is dependent and another one is independent variable. So now I am creating a pandas dot 
data frame why i am creating is now from the data set i want to get a particular columns as a x value so i am just forming in my data frame so all the rows and except minus one column so why that is nothing but pandas dot data frame i am just going to create okay here we are having a variable name of data so the next thing is data dot index locate uh, where all the rows minus one column great okay we need to give yeah so minus one the last value so we got the data so now i want to know the total value counts so i am giving the variable name uh, target target that is nothing but one of our column name so target uh, what again i am just going to count the total counts so this is only for visualization purpose yeah now we got 1 as 165 and 0 as 138 so now the same thing i want to make it in a count plot so what again i am just going to do is import matplotlib dot pi plot uh, yeah pi plot as plt then import c bond as sns then sns dot count plot i'm going to make x is equal to a uh, target now i am planning to make a count plot for this x value target and the data that's nothing but for which data so now i have our variable name data and then palette this is nothing but the color uh, frame so i gave uh, hls then i again i am just to want to show my data because we doesn't use the matplotlib uh, inline function so now we got so maybe our x value is a target and y value is count why we choose an our y value is because target which is mainly used to get zeros and ones okay great now we got the output so zero and one that's nothing but our x axis and this is our total count so the next thing is now we all divided the data into independent and dependent variable okay so now it's already uh, done uh, we need to copy and paste it uh, so let's we simply copy this step again uh, for our better understand yeah so now i just get the data again so now i divided the data into independent and dependent variable now i want to split the data into train and test set using scikit-learn train test split module so now what again i am just going to do is from sklan dot model uh, i'm going to select import train underscore test underscore split so now we are selecting the model from our training and testing spread for some uh, variables so now we need to make x train so for better understand x underscore train and x underscore test and then y underscore train and then y underscore test great we did this then again i am giving train underscore test underscore split so this is our training and splitting model now i am going to split our training and testing for x y this x and y that is nothing but my data which i read it as a independent and dependent variable so x comma y so now we need to define the test size so what is this test size how much size of testing data set i am planning to make so random underscore state so why we are making this random underscore state because this training and testing data set which is actually taken from a different data so when it comes to our total data set this training and testing 80 percentage of the data which will be randomly chosen and 20 percentage of data for testing also randomly chosen 
so now we are just plotting this uh, training and testing split so again if i am planning to run i want to get the same data again and again so that's the reason why we are having this random state so you can give any number to the random state because this is an argument so it's a positional argument so we need to give some number towards it this number it won't give any uh, different result but this random state every time it is used to get only the same values as our x train x text y train and y test now i am going to run this so now we split our data set into training and testing great now after we split this we need to apply our scikit learn model towards our training data set because always we need to apply our models towards the training data set so for that perspective first we need to get our uh, scilan uh, data from linear model so linear underscore model import i am going to import what model from our linear so we have other options like linear regression but now here we are going to apply logistic regression so i apply the logistic regression then i am creating a variable name called log model i am initializing my logistic regression towards my data set great after this i am going to make my data sets applied to my logistic regression so i am calling my variable name i am just applying by using this fit so now to which variable name we need to apply always we need to think about our training data set so i am applying our uh, logistic model towards our training data set great so now i am running this okay so now we are having something like a deprecation warning we don't need to worry about the deprecation warning right now but in future some update may be happen okay now we got the result so now we applied our logistic regression so the next thing is we need to predict the test set result why we need to predict this test set result actually first step we read our data set now we apply our logistic model now we need to compare our prediction towards our testing so now i am going to apply with some variable name y prediction uh, our variable name called log model dot predict so now i am going to predict our training data result with our x underscore test data result great so now we apply the prediction so now i want to know about the accuracy score of my prediction result so for that perspective let's give our print data so i'm just going to predict accuracy of my uh, data set prediction so i gave accuracy so now what again i am just going to do is uh log model score so here this log model that is nothing but our variable name so score that is nothing but i am just calculating the prediction score between my x text and my y test so we need to calculate the prediction based on our x test and y test great we got the accuracy of 0.75 something values so now our accuracy score is 0.75 our accuracy of model is 75 percentage now we need to evaluate the result so how to evaluate this evaluation we need to apply with our confusion matrix so from skitland dot matrix i am going to import my confusion matrix 
great so now i am going to create one variable name uh, we are going to calculate the confusion matrix so i am just creating a confusion matrix as a variable name so now from our confusion matrix library name we are going to get our confusion matrix result for our y test and our y prediction so the next thing is we need to apply the print statement because whatever our result is we need to print the result great so our confusion matrix is 20 10 5 26 so now what is this observed uh, values of so now here we have a true positive as a 20 and a false positive as a 6 or uh, sorry 5 and a false negative as 10 and a true negative as 26 in other words now we are just a predicted number of positive class are correctly 20 so whatever you predicted uh, as a positive the data 20 data is correct the number of negative class which we predicted incorrectly that is nothing but 5 the number of our positive classes which we predicted incorrectly that is nothing but a 10 so number of negative classes predicted correctly that's nothing but our 26 so now from this model we actually applied our logistic regression with our confusion matrix so we build one logistic regression model by using our python so what are the steps that we done here is simply we read the data so i just get the sample of the data to understand about what is the data set is all about and i just want to get how many datas are available the rows and the column then again i am making a value counts to come to know the target the y value of my data so the target one is nothing but 165 datas are available so one it's nothing but the people who are having a heart disease and zero that's nothing but a no heart disease so from our 303 data set 165 people are having a heart disease and 138 people are not having our heart disease so now i am making a matplotlib plot here to uh, understand the targeted value after again i am creating a x and y value that is nothing but this is an independent and this is a dependent and now i am making a training and a testing split so for to split my data set into two types which is used to apply the model in one part and to evaluate our applied model by using the testing so usually the training model where we are applying our algorithm and testing model it is a the same data end of the result we used to compare this two to get our accuracy so here i am applying my logistic regression logistic regression is a part of linear model so i am getting my linear model and i am importing my logistic regression then i am initializing the logistic regression and now i am applying my logistic regression to my training data set and now i am going to predict that is nothing but i am going to compare my result log model that is nothing but my result result with x text so now i want to get the accuracy score so i gave accuracy and log model dot score the testing data so the accuracy of our data is 0 0.75 now i want to get the confusion matrix to come to know how many of the numbers i predicted as a correct how many of the numbers i predicted as a wrong so i got the confusion matrix for this this all the steps is mandatory to get to apply our logistic regression